This bag of rubbish is how much one person throws away in a week. Just look at how many bags one person throws away in a year. We all produce a lot of rubbish, and it has to be put somewhere. Often it's buried in huge holes in the ground. But do we really need to throw all of this away? That's what these children are finding out. They're sorting out a bin full of rubbish that's been specially prepared by their teacher and putting into three hoops things from the bin that don't need to be thrown away. Some can be reused, used again as they are. Other things can be recycled or broken down and used again. The third hoop is for material which will rot down to make compost or plant food. The children decide which things can't be used again. Only these go into the bin. What should we do with this? That's you. That could be reusable. Some glass bottles can be reused. Milk bottles can go back to the bottling plant to be washed and refilled. Other glass bottles are not so easy to reuse. They may have come from other parts of the world or have contained liquids that it's difficult to wash out. But the glass that they're made from is still useful and the bottles can be taken to the bottle bank to be recycled. The glass from the bottles in the bank is taken to a factory where it's cleaned and broken into small pieces. The pieces of glass are mixed with other materials, melted and made into new bottles and jars. Look at the other things that can be recycled. There's clothing, plastic bottles, and even some batteries. Newspapers can be recycled. A full paper bank holds enough paper to save 15 trees. Rather than cutting down trees to make paper, this factory takes in old paper and recycles it into new. Worn-out clothes can be recycled to make rags and dusters. <laughs> clothes that are too small, but still good enough to wear, can be taken to shops, which will sell them and use the money for charity. Yeah, they'll sell all these clothes again. Back in the classroom, there's still lots of rubbish to be sorted out. What can we do with these? These are combustible. Sam and Sophie have found kitchen waste like potato and vegetable peelings wrapped in polythene bags for safety. These go into a hoop with other things that will rot down to make compost. Here, children from a different school are making compost. They're building up a heap of vegetable and plant material. It's quite different from the compost that's all round. It looks like grass. It is grass, Katie. Now, what's the difference between that and what we've just been lifting out? This is fresh from this morning. And that's been there for ages. And this is... Dead flowers, garden weeds, grass cuttings, orange peel 
and leaves, all of these will rot down and after several months make a dark, rich compost, which is crumbly like soil. You can add compost to soil to refresh and renew it and help plants to grow. In the classroom, the children have finished. Look at how many things that were thrown away can be used again. This is how little really has to go into the bin. In some parts of Sheffield, near the children's school, people sort out from their rubbish things that can be recycled and put them into special containers ready to be collected. What kinds of recyclable things might be in the containers? Even plastic bottles can be recycled, but first they have to be sorted out. The bottles are separated into different colours and different types of plastic. All this happens at the council depot. To make it easier for them to be transported to the recycling factory, the plastic containers are crushed together so that they take up less space in the lorries. When plastic is recycled, it's broken into granules, tiny pieces of plastic. These pieces can then be made into other plastic objects. Some forms of plastic, like those used in crisp packets, are very difficult to recycle. Up to now, they've had to be thrown away. But watch what happens to this crisp packet. It's made from a new form of plastic which will rot away and leave nothing harmful behind. You can already buy some products like shampoo in bottles made from this kind of plastic. Perhaps in future, all crisp packets will be made from it. But this is an ordinary packet. It won't rot. What about the other things? Apple, a nail, a plastic bag, a leaf, and some meat. Will any of them rot away? That's what these young scientists are trying to find out, by burying the objects in damp soil. They carefully mark where each object is buried so that they know where to look for it. The objects are placed round the edge of the tank 
so that they can be seen through the plastic sides. What's going to happen to the apple? He can, can rot away and make a new soil. What did you think would happen to the apple? A special camera that speeds things up shows you what eventually happens. A lot of what we throw away can be put to good use. Rotting to make compost, being reused or recycled. At the Cleansing Services Department in Sheffield, something else happens to the waste. A lot of the rubbish is burned in a large incinerator. The fire is used to heat water. This hot water is piped around the city, providing heating for homes and offices. It saves using other forms of heat, which come from coal, gas or electricity. A lot of what we throw away is still dumped into large holes in the ground. But we can't go on doing this forever. What'll happen when there are no holes left? We've got to throw less away. Do you really need all that packaging and wrapping and all those bags? And do you recycle things? Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. What can you do to stop the earth becoming one big rubbish dump?